there's still a lot to learn about the brain. This is something I can do until I'm 80 years old and still be very excited about it and still be learning something every single day. More practically speaking, I just love the patients. They're inspiring, and you see miracles. There are kids that just really amaze me, where you think that hope is gone, and it just blows you away. It's a very humbling thing uh, when someone entrusts you with their child, because when they go to sleep and uh, you're beginning an operation, it really feels like you are holding all of their hopes and dreams in your hands. That's very real to me. I don't take that lightly at all. It's, it's, it's kind of a huge weight on your shoulders. My wife and I have four daughters. We spend our evenings going to karate and ballet and swimming and we have a blast. I like to be outside. If I get a chance on a weekend, I'm, I'm out in the woods. I like to fish. I like to hunt. I try to get out in the garden. Children and their parents can expect honesty from me. If I know the information, they're going to know the information. I'm going to give my best effort. And if I'm not the right person, I'll let them know I'm not the right person for it. If I think there's just a little bit of hope, I say, yes, we're doing it. We had two children that were uh, in a car that was hit by a bus. Both of those children went to the operating room at the same time. Both of them had complete expert teams working. Both of them lived. I really felt that there is really no place that was safer for those kids than here. There's no place like that. It really is world-class care.